In this video, you'll learn the proper procedure for installing a decoder module in the Hunter Easy Decoder System. The Easy Decoder System is compatible with Hunter ICC2 and the HCC controllers. When using one of these controllers, you'll need to install the Hunter Easy DM Decoder Output Module. There are several enclosure configurations available for these two controllers. Plastic, metal, stainless steel, metal pedestal, stainless steel pedestal, and plastic pedestal. When using the two-wire Easy Decoder system, you'll be able to set up a system capacity of 54 stations using any of these enclosure types. Easy DM Module Installation First, install the output module in the ICC2 controller. Open the controller door, followed by the front panel to access the wiring compartment. You'll notice there are slots that accommodate the Easy DM or conventional modules. In this example, we'll show you how to install the Easy DM module in the first slot on the controller, as the entire system will be a decoder system. You can also install the Easy DM in any open slot in the ICC2 or HCC controller. Open the blue lock lever on the Easy DM and insert the module tabs in the bottom of the slot. Tip the module up into place and close the locking lever. Press the controller reset button on the back of the face pack. The controller will now see the new module and change the station count to 54 stations. When installing the Easy DM module in an HCC controller, simply follow the same procedure. PCDM module installation. Now, let's review the installation process for the Hunter PCDM decoder output module in the modular Hunter HPC and Pro-C controllers. When using the Easy Decoder system in one of these controllers, you must use the PCDM module which is designed with a slightly different shape to fit into the expansion slots. Note that the PCDM module is only compatible with Pro-C models having a date code of 2020 or newer. When using the PCDM module, the station count of these controllers increases to 32 stations. It's important to note that although the station count is 32, the first four stations are not available as decoder stations. They must be wired conventionally, or not used at all if every station is to be a decoder station. In this case, the decoder station count is 28, and the first decoder station must be programmed as station 5. First, install the output module in the Pro-C controller. Slide the power lock in the power off or unlocked position. If you'll use more than four conventionally wired stations, Insert an additional station module into the second slot. Install the PCDM module into the last two station output slots. This module will fit and operate in this position only. You should hear an audible click when it's correctly inserted. Once you have all the modules you want in position, slide the power lock to the power on or locked position to energize and secure the modules. The controller should automatically recognize the correct number of stations. It's a best practice to press the reset button on the back of the face pack or cycle the power to the controller to make sure the controller recognizes new modules. When installing the module on HPC controllers, follow the same procedure. Hybrid installations. It's possible to combine decoder stations and conventional stations to create a hybrid system in any of these controllers. Depending on the controller, there are different station counts available. When using ICC2 or HCC controllers, you can add four and eight station modules and leave one slot open for the Easy DM module. The total station count will not change and will always be 54 when the Easy DM is present. For Pro-C and HPC controllers, there will always be a four station module in the modular versions. You can have four conventional stations and 28 decoder stations for a total of 32 stations. You could also add a three-station module to increase the number of conventional stations to seven, thus limiting the decoder stations to 25. You can only have 32 total stations in these controllers. Whichever controller you use, you must be careful not to use duplicate station numbers. 
If you program two decoders with the same station number, they will activate simultaneously. This can cause unintentional overload on the transformer. Also, if you have duplicate conventional and decoder stations, they'll activate simultaneously. Here are some examples of hybrid systems with available station types and counts. Now that you have the decoder module installed in your controller, you're ready to wire the Easy Decoder system. To learn more, visit HunterIrrigation.com.